welcome to a Chili Chun Hot Sauce review, where we got, uh, we poached somebody from the lineup of hot ones. The number three sauce, currently, uh, Butterfly Bakery of Vermont, Maplewood Smoked Onion Hot Sauce. It sounds delicious, because if you look at what's in here, we got beautiful red jalapenos, and they even named the farm, Dog River Farm, uh, organic white vinegar, Maplewood Smoked Full Moon Farm Onions and Salt, and that's it. Have a look at the consistency there. It's all natural, so it doesn't have that wiggle. It's just got a nice, chunky texture of beautiful onions and peppers. Ooh, and right up in your face, you get beautiful smoked onions. And the combination of the ripe red jalapenos and smoked onions really almost almost makes it smell like chipotle. Not quite. <laughs> More tangy than chipotle. Oh, man, that's a really a really nice aroma. Like The, the peppers kind of take a little bit of a backseat, if I'm being honest, but it's okay because the smoked onions smell so good. Yeah, look at it out on the spoon. Uh, it's got a really pr very pretty rich red color. Oh, uh, and out on the spoon even more. Like it almost smells like a really good chunky salsa. And there's an a, like an illusion of tomato smell that you know, there's no tomatoes in it, but you really can almost pick up on tomato. Mmm. Mmm. Huh. That's good. Mmm. <laughs> You get, right off the bat, tang, onion, and a nice chunky mouthfeel. But you just get this really, really, really nice, fresh, um, it's kind of a salsa-like taste. It's the onion and the peppers coming together. And then right on the back of that, the smokiness comes in. And actually, you know, it's, it's hotter than I expected. It's not, I wouldn't call it hot. It's probably like a high mild. But man, it just has a really, really, really nice, um, comforting smokiness. It's not too smoky. It's not too intense. It has a really nice burn. It is a jalapeno burn, so it's a little more in the back of the throat and back atop of the roof of the mouth. And and it is hotter than you'd expect, actually. Uh, but but it's really, 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 really tasty. Mm. I'm going to dive back in. It just reminds you of a really hearty, delicious uh, roasted salsa. Mm -hmm. You can almost just taste the tomatoes that aren't there. Absolutely um, have to recommend uh, at least, you know, so far so good. This is a delicious sauce and you should give it a try. That being said, there's a bunch of sauces like this. And so, you know, how does it compare? Because this is a little more pricey. This is about 10 bucks. And there's other ones you can get cheaper that are also smoky. Some are hotter, some have a little bit different flavor profile. Let's grab a couple of those and then we'll kind of see where it fits into the, uh, the pre-existing hot sauce ecosystem. Just because you're on hot ones doesn't mean you get the waltz in here and taste that awesome. So check it out. Uh, I brought some sauces that I find to be similar uh, that I've encountered on my travels. I mentioned earlier, this kind of almost begins to taste like chipotle because the red jalapeno and the smoked onion. So I grabbed uh, another sauce of the same ilk, uh, ghost pepper sauce. It also tastes like chipotle even though there's no uh, chipotle in it. Uh, I also brought actual chipotle uh, from Tabasco and uh, one that's not as smoky but still has that nice like bitter note. Uh, Queen Majesty red habanero uh, and black coffee. So. Right up front, um, the beautiful butterfly over here um, is the most expensive. Yeah, you know, because it's ten bucks, like it, it, I think a little more is expected of it. But I'm not fully convinced that it delivers more than you can get over here. Um, it tastes like a really good roasted salsa, and that's cool because I really like roasted salsa. But do I want to pay a premium for a hot sauce that tastes like? A good roasted salsa when I could have hot sauces that bring like something new. It becomes harder to recommend uh, because of the other hot sauces in the world. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, like Tabasco Chipotle is really good. Um, I like it a lot and it's not very expensive. But that being said, here on this cutting board in this company, it's right out uh, because uh, it's, it's, you know, live a little man, come on, let's get outside the box a little bit. Um, of these three, you know, you're looking at about the same price point for both of these guys, and again, uh, the uh, the butterfly. Ah, it's about ten. You know, so you're paying again extra for this. And to me, this it has a beautiful taste of onion. It's super natural and super delicious. It's a little hotter than you'd expect. Probably about as hot as this one, I would say. Uh, this is ghost pepper. This is significantly hotter than these guys. Putting these guys side by side, um, it's a coin flip. Uh, and the the thing that I'm surprised to say is that you know. Because it's a coin flip, ah, this one's cheaper, you know? And so again, this isn't which one's the best. This is which one are you gonna go spend your money on? 
um, here right now. And, you know, honestly, there's no reason to pay the extra three bucks. The, the one that we're viewing today is right out. Leaving us with a couple that you can get in the six, seven, eight dollar range. But you should, in all honesty, you should buy them both. Um, Yellow Bird, Ghost Pepper Condiment, you should buy Queen Majesty, uh, Red Habanero, and Black Coffee. Um, what we reviewed today, well, you should buy it if you already have these and you want to try something new. Or you should buy it if you're a Hot Ones enthusiast. Or you should buy it if, you know, you want a hot sauce that tastes like really good salsa. It's a little too much money for what you get. That being said, it's pretty tasty. Uh, so it's not out of place on Hot Ones. You know, they're trying all kinds of new sauces, and I like that. And they're bringing attention on brands like this that focus on being organic and natural and doing things the right way. And I, did, I respect that a lot. But straight up consumer advice, uh, this should be the last one you buy out of these three. Um, but that being said, it doesn't mean that we're not going to put it on our food. All right, so we got some beautiful uh, cheese and sun-dried tomato ravioli that's been boiled and then kind of toasted in a pan to where it's a little crispy. Got some garlic bread. We got the butterfly. Um, again, the price sets it back, uh, but it is really good. You know, so being that it reminded me a little bit of tomatoes, I, I really thought that it would go nicely with, um, with a little bit of like Italian food like this in lieu of a marinara. So we're just going to carefully... Yeah, it just smells right at home. Like it, I mean, you you'd think it was, you think it was pasta sauce. Like it's a it's a chameleon because it take, it was salsa earlier, and now it's a really nice red sauce. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm saving you for over here, dude. <laughs> That's fantastic. Mm. Oh man, okay. Well, now, you know, when I was expecting to come in here and do like a heel turn and, and talk about Yellowbird instead, let's just see. Mm. Yellowbird, yeah, it's just smoky and delicious. It's got a uh, tangerine and lime in it. And you can, I'm not going to say you can pick up on both of them, but you pick up like a citrusy note. It brings something that you wouldn't expect. And the smell of the sweetness really does, you know, sit at home on the salty, rich ravioli. It's interesting. The sweetness really actually kind of kicks in at the end when the ghost pepper smokiness comes in. Oh, <laughs> that's really good too. Um, it's definitely hotter, you know. Of course, it's, this is much much hotter. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the ghost pepper real quick. Mm. Just as you like finish chewing and start to swell, you get this like citrusy burst and the smoky burst, and it's like really interesting. It adds a layer to things that you wouldn't expect. All right. Last chance here. Mm. You just get the smoked onions. You get a strong. Uh, oh no. Strong note of uh, onion. Oh my god. That is beyond incredible. Okay. Don't get me wrong. Yellowbird, this is delicious. It's really good sauce. It's actually very, very tasty on ravioli and has like a cool uh, little twist on things that you wouldn't expect. I like it a lot. It's also cheaper than this. More readily available, also. <laughs> you know, at least in Texas. But that being said, just because of my eating experience right here with this ravioli, how amazing this was on that ravioli. What I just ate was like incredibly delicious. Really, really, really seriously delicious. And it was because of this sauce. Holy moly. It's ridiculous <laughs> on your food, which really, you know, isn't that what this is about? I mean, how often do you sit and eat them with a spoon, you know, at your house? Really, really good. Can't recommend more. Amazing. I totally, over the course of this 10 internet minutes, I've fallen in love with this sauce. I appreciate you, you know, uh, checking out these hot sauce reviews. You know, if they have new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, uh, click subscribe, you know, click like, click the bell, click, just click, man. Click your heart out. I'm going to go probably eat about half of this bottle <laughs> of hot sauce right now. And I don't say that too much because this is, I'm sold. It's amazing. Go buy it. Thanks for watching. Until we talk.
Yeah, I'm not lying. I am going to sit here and eat this whole plate. It's huge plate ravioli. I'm going to eat the whole damn thing with that bell of hot sauce because it's so good. Go buy this. Cheers. Thanks for watching Chili Channel.